This is a cable. Oh, <laughs> that's aluminum connectors on. And what I see right in there looks like copper. <laughs> and this thing, I swear, it's more than 10 pounds. So, Somebody told me it's copper, <laughs> but I ain't never seen a copper cable that big before. So I'm going to cut one of these ends off. I, that is the heaviest cable I have ever got hold of before. No, let me get a drink. If I ain't sucking on a cup of coffee, I'm sucking on a diet soda. Alright, let me see if I can cut that off. I need to put my damn glasses on. Oh. I'll tell you what, folks, that looks like. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> Put it down. Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. <laughs> Boy, that's warm. Nah. <laughs> Look at that. It's copper. What is that? About an inch? Holy. And I got. I got one piece of this out there. I can't even pick it up. And this piece weighs, it could be as much as 20 pounds. Holy moly. So how would I... You know what? This is aluminum. And this is copper. I'll cut that off there to get. But you know what? I think. Why? And I cannot. Boy. This is going to be the biggest copper score I have ever made. I couldn't even get all of that on my scooter and haul it with my scooter I could there's no way I could haul it I might could have dragged it but that would have really run my battery down oh man 
holy cow so let me I'll tell you where I can get some weight figure out the weight on it I can cut off a 10 inch piece and weigh it and compare that against how many how many pieces of lead I got and how long it is where's my where's my you know what I just had that in my dang and you wonder if my grandson been out here and playing around it sure holy cow I need measure you know what I just had it in my hand yesterday let's see I want to cut a 10 inch piece where is my dead gone I just had it for crying out loud and of course I ain't cleaned up in here I've been I've been working on it I swear I have well I'm gonna guesstimate a 10 inch piece I'm gonna say that's 10 inches. Boy, that stuff is so heavy. Oh my goodness. I wish I lay my hands on my ain't no telling. I'll put my glasses back on. I swear that's got to be that's got to be a, the copper part's got to be at least a three quarter inch piece yes it does all right. I'm gonna take my little I got this little thing I can hold like that and it makes a little tripod or I can hold it like that uh, I thought it would be better made than it is but uh, hold on GoPro stop recording all right to four pounds right there in that piece. <sighs> Look at that. Pure old copper. 
what what kind of a piece of equipment would this run? Okay, that says Holy crap. This came off of a roll originally that was 4,232 feet long. That's almost a daggone mile. Could, that couldn't be possible. A, uh, this big? Could that be possible? Holy crap. So, and I've got a 15 foot piece out there. And several short pieces like this. Now, do I strip it? I would think so. Because they'd give me insulated copper price for that, even though that wouldn't be nowhere near fire for me. Oh. But, holy crap. This is going to be the biggest copper school I've ever made. Oh boy, look at that. Yeah, that's, that's pound easy, maybe more. scrap yard with this I'm gonna cover that in and I'm gonna say what is that and he's gonna tell me copper and I said and how much can I get a pound for that just like that and if he says well I can't tell you we'll have to weigh it or some crap like you did one time before and I'll say no sir see you later But he gives me a good price with it looking like that. I want it stripped price and I want it uh, not stripped, just like this. Then I'm gonna show him this in. Now what is it? I don't, I tell you what folks, I don't trust these, uh, these scrap yards no further than I can spit. I don't. And them guys that's doing all the unloading and the weighing and stuff, they work for that company and they're going to get the best deal that they can get for that company and they, and they get shady, especially that TMR. TMR's got two, two yards in this county. One's a big yard and they got the big crusher and shredder and all that stuff where you take all your, your heavy loads. 
Then they got another one over here in town that's got kind of a big garden and they take all the heavy stuff you can go in there and then they take, haul it over to the other place and shred it. But they got a small yard right across the railroad tracks. So man, where you take your copper and aluminum and uh, just just the, 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 the good stuff. Brass, all that. In that little yard, that's the crooks. That's the crooks. They got me good on 100 pounds of brass one time. They got me good on that because it had a little ball bearing in it and the rest of it was brass. So they, they give me, they give me scrap metal price. <laughs> I had, had, a, had three or was it fours? I think it was four ball bearings. Uh, well, I'll show you. I think I'll show you what it is. Uh, 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 well, yeah, I'll show you on one of my air hoses here. It was one of these. It's all brass. Except right in there, there's one, two, three, four. There's four ball bearings. And because of them steel ball bearings in there, he gave me scrap metal price. And at the time, uh, scrap metal was about eight cents a pound when I did it then. It was coming down then. And uh, brass was two dollars and something a pound. So he got that 100 pounds of brass for $7. I ain't never forgot that, and I hope. Nah, I won't say nothing to him or run into public. If I run into him in public, I won't say nothing to him. But that was, that was a crooked deal. And I tell you what, when they emptied it, when they go empty that barrel of brass, they didn't empty it over on the shred, they emptied it in the shred in the brass bin. And I didn't catch it till I was out there at the machine getting my money. By then it was too late. But anyhow, that's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna gosh that's a heavy piece of what is that coated with? Is it couldn't be steel. Well, I can show you. I can find out right quick whether it's steel. No, it's not steel. It's not steel. It's some. Ain't no such thing as white copper. Is it? Anyway, you see it. I hope you see it. This could be a huge brass score or copper score. And what kind of apparatus do they use to clamp this on the ends of that copper cable like that? That is one big. I ain't never got hold of nothing like that. <laughs> if I look excited, well, I'm not as excited as I was because I was seeing about $200 coming out of that and I was going to put that on my golf cart fund. Alright, I'm going in the house. I'm going to make upload this video. I want questions answered if you know how to answer them or if you can answer them. I have decided to take my hat off a minute. I have decided that I'm gonna start wearing this uh on my uh alright, where is it? Well, Russell, where is it at? I'm gonna to take it off and look. Oh, Dauber, you dummy. 
Uh, what works always been. Actually, I was using this to look in. Um, well, daggone it, I know it's. There it is. There, that's going to blind you. And then that one's dimmer, and then that one does that. Now, that works good uh, on my. When I'm riding my scooter out there on that road. And the thing about it, the bicycle shops, they want, they want $30 for a blinking lamp like this. It ain't exactly like this. 30 bucks. And this does the same thing and it's just as visible. And, but they want, they want $30 for it. And the only difference between this and theirs is their batteries are rechargeable. Well, the batteries that comes in this is three triple A's. But I can put rechargeable triple A's in there and that's rechargeable in. But the kicker is this, this is from Harbor Freight and it's only $9 and change. So that means I can get this $20 cheaper than what they're selling theirs for at the bicycle shop. And I can wear it on my head. I can rig it up on my scooter and I can do one for the front and back. And I, the reason I know they're $30, this guy was riding by me over there at my honey hole one time and he had one on the front and one on the back that come from the bicycle shop. And I was impressed. I said, where did you get them? He said, you get them at the bicycle shop and they're rechargeable. And he thought he got a good deal. I said, well, how much were they? He said, 30 bucks, 29 and some change. And that changed my mind real quick. I ain't paying $30 for something. I knew these were around. I already had one. And I knew I could get them for less than $10. And if, I, like right now, they got a sale going on. Tomorrow, they got a 25% 25 discount. So I, technically, I could get this thing for around $7 and change tomorrow with that coupon. Which, well, I can't do that tomorrow, though, because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, done spent my quota for the month and I ain't dipping into my golf cart fund. I'm gonna get me a dip. You know another thing about the golf cart thing, I don't have to have a driver's license to do that. I got one, I got a driver's license, but it's coming up for renewal and uh, <clears throat> I can't pass the eye test. At least that's what the lady told me. Well, you can't see out of that eye, you can't get a license. And I'm, I didn't say nothing to her, but I got, got thinking about it. Well, I know several people that's got license that's legally blind in one eye, that has no eyesight at all in one eye, and they got a license, so what's the difference? But I ain't driving much anyway now, but with the golf cart, I can check out my whole neighborhood and I'm not limited on how far I can go because it's, there'll be gas and uh, it's got a big one of them, it's got like a little utility bed on them. You see, see these types being used around apartment complexes where the uh, maintenance people ride around in them and they got their tools and stuff throwed on the back and they haul and uh, I've seen them. I've seen them hauling uh, air conditioners on them. I've seen them hauling all kinds of stuff on them. Um, but that's the plan anyway. Man, that I'm really. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to go over there tomorrow and see what the deal is. I'm not gonna show him that in. I'm gonna show him this in. How much? He's gonna look at that and he's gonna say copper. And if it's that joker I was just talking about, if I show him that in, 
he's gonna say it ain't copper. Well, well, gosh, that's heavy. That is so. How in the world do they bend this stuff? I, you can't even. I can't. Now that long piece out there, I can bend somewhat, but it's it, I can't bend it much. Can't. How about it, scrappers? Y'all ever come across something like that? <laughs> Golly, Ned. I could just see. I, you know, if I live close by, I'm a prankster a lot about things. I would love to take about a five foot piece of this and put in some trash somewhere that I knew Scrap and Pallet Man was going to be checking it out and let him find that and be recording it and see he gets excited over steel. He, I tell you what, Paul, you better get get past that steel excitement because you know a lot of places just two cents but one place was a 1.6 cents a pound I'm sorry I ain't getting I ain't getting excited over that but he get he get he, now he 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 sees aluminum he calls it Illuminati and copper he calls copper he sounds like one of my British friends copper but I'd like I'd like to see his the expression when he grabbed that and tried to pick it, he couldn't pick it up, I'll tell you that. Well, he might could drag it, because that's what I had to do when, I, when the guy gave it to me, I had to drag it. And it was all I could do to do that. <laughs> so when the guy gave it to me, he said, I'm like, thank you, I, he had it laying there. And, uh, I said, well, I'll take it over, and he's, he's like, well, it's pretty heavy. I said, how heavy is it? And he said, over 50 pounds. <laughs> uh, and it was. He drug it over there for me. God, you know. That's beautiful, Aunt. Trapper's gold. <laughs> that is nice. Holy crap, but I, well, that's going to be interesting to see what that guy does over there when I show him this. Of course, when I do that, I'm not going to bring the rest over there, no matter what his price is going to be. i got another yard I'm going to take it to.